Okay. In the year 1971, the 26th Amendment was added to the United States Constitution. This amendment gives citizens ages 18 and older the right to vote in U.S. elections. Studies made by CIRCLE, which is an acronym for a nonpartisan research center called the Center of Information and Research on Civic Learning and Engagement, and also studies by the National Census shows that 52% of voters between the ages of, 20, of 18 and 24 used that right to vote in the next election, which was the election of 1972. Since then, the voter turnout for this group had rapidly declined to a mere 36% in the year 2000, which was a total, which is a total 16 point drop since the first election that 18 year olds were able to vote. In the 2004 election, however, the youth vote went back up to a 47%, which is an 11-point raise. Then, in the year 2008, which in the year 2008, approximately 3 million more young people voted in the presidential election. The cause for the sudden political awareness among the youth is the influence of popular culture. In 2004. MPB held an interview with Senator John Kerry for the first time, and in that year, 54%, a 54% majority of youth votes were for John Kerry, as opposed to his opponent. In the year 2008, popular culture worked even harder to get young people to vote. MPB aired presidential com campaign commercials for the first time. Registration forms could then be downloaded online via Rock the Vote, which 2.5 million people did in 2008. The special dialogue with the president, which both Senator McCain and Senator Obama participated in, was hosted by MTV and MySpace and was aired live on the internet and on cell phones all across the country. Presidential debates could be downloaded as podcasts and watched on iPods or streamed online via YouTube or MySpace and see worldwide. Senator Barack Obama, who used the internet and pop culture to appeal better to Generation Y, was preferred 68% to 30% in young voters against Senator McCain. This is due to a growth of more than twice the young Democrats that participated in the specific presidential election. John Goldberg, author of the New York Times bestseller, Liberal Fascism, and also editor-at-large for the National Review online says that MTV serves as the Democrats' main youth outreach program. And in this year, 2008, 23 million young people between the ages of 18 and 29 voted in the presidential election. There are other arguments as to why this sudden interest in politics came about with the youth of America. One is that the youth are more educated than they were before. But the National Center for Education Statistics shows that the percentage of college student of college graduates has been increasing has been increasing continuously, not just since the year 2004, which is when the big surge of young voters came along. Another argument is that the politicians are more focused on the needs of young Americans, but ironically, politicians didn't even notice young voters until after 2004, because the youth vote is always so unreliable and unstable. MSNBC says that there is always that niggling fear that young people will do what young people are known for, flaking out, slacking off, and failing to show up when it counts. So pop culture's focus on politics and the importance of voting is really the most credible reason for why the rise of the youth vote happens. Voting and having a significant amount of knowledge in politics is just as important, if not, as, if not more important, for young people because it affects us the most. The group that votes the mo most every year is ages 65 and older. And by the time the new policies set in, honestly, most of them are going to not be alive anymore. <laughs> and the turnout for an election, like it will affect our education funding, our employment opportunities, the war, the environment, and everything else that will affect young people the most. So. So the so-called evil pop culture that has always been extremely influential to us, it shouldn't just influence the way we dress or the way we talk. American politics has now found a way to relate itself to young people via the internet and 
shows that young people watch the most. And pop culture has been in these past few years and most likely will always be an important part of American democracy.